Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome to another Final Fantasy XIV Blue Mage video. Today we are returning to A Realm Reborn Extreme Primal Gauntlet. Now remember, I did a video like this before Blue Mage was updated around level 70, but you could not destroy Ramu or Shiva with one shot. With the upgrade to Blue Mage to level 80 and of course level 80 gear, it is now possible to one shot Ramu and Shiva, making the gauntlet for A Realm Reborn that much easier. So I'm using the level 80 Phantasmal and the Crypt Lurker gear combined and we're muddled up with Determination and Spell Speed 8. The reason why not crit, crit or Direct Hit is because when you are doing a DPS Mimicry you are increased chances of critting and Direct Hitting so adding Materia would be useless. So Determination 8 and Spell Speed 8. So my Spell Speed is 1462 which makes my spells 2.23 cast time. Remember, spells have a reduced cast time, but abilities are set. So, the spells that you're going to be using are only this. Whistle, Final Sting, Basic Instinct, and Moon Flute. That's about it. And of course, you're going to need Swift Cast. Now, Basic Instinct, you can easily find those in Upper Lenosha. They're going to be right over here. Kill the corals to get basic instinct. If you're looking for Final Sting, that will be over here where you'll kill the wasps. Whistle will come in the Sea of Clouds from the Dalmels, which should be around here somewhere. Moon Flute, I think it's 10 carnival missions, at least 10 different ones to get the Moon Flute, then you get the totem through the Mal Sha NPC. That's where you also get the gear as well. And you'll find that here in Ulda. Or the Miner's Guild here, right about here, to get that Moon Flute. And of course the Carnival will be over here. I think you have to be level 50 in order to enter the Carnival, so make sure you have that done. Now, what you're going to do is make sure you're unsynced. You're going to be running from Shiva all the way down to Ultima because we're also going to be doing this for Grand Company Seals. If you want to throw in Odin as well, you can, but I would go up to Ultima. All these here should give you around 10,000 Grand Company Seals and it should take you mere seconds to kill each Primal. So first thing, set your Shiva quickly. Do a Whistle, Moon Flute, Q in. When you get in, basic instinct. Swift cast, and then final sting. He did get critted there, and it took five seconds. But like I said, you should not need any crit or direct hits. So because you get super echo when you're doing this unsynced, that makes it much more powerful. So Shiva gives a weapon, an accessory, and a coffer. Sometimes if you're lucky enough, you can get a paladin as well, which will give you a sword and shield on top of the coffer. So next, Ramu. So whistle, flute beforehand, Q in. Quickly cast basic instinct. Swift run stick. That was unassisted. That was a direct hit, so that was 900,000, but like I said, not needed. This gave me a weapon, a ring, and an orb, and a also a coffer. I'll show you guys what to do with those as well. So next, it's going to be Leviathan. So if your load times are quick, you should not run out of the boss beforehand. So it took about seven seconds because you had to run. That was unassisted. So their HP is just like below 800,000, which is good. 
So Leviathan gave me music, a weapon, and a coffer. Sometimes he can drop a shield for white mages. Alright, King Mogulmog is next. Shot. Five seconds. Unassisted. Now King Mughal Mog is the only one that does not drop a mount. But everybody else does. And that will give you a ribbon. Music and or his whisker. Next. It's going to be Ifrit. So that did go off, by the way. A little bit of a delay when going in. You can see Moonflute is up. Six seconds for Ifrit. Now, if you do have the Gap Closure J Kick, you can use it to make it a little bit faster. But be warned that some primals will jump from the damage taken. So we got Nightmare, which is amazing. If I already have it. So you get a bangle and if you're lucky enough a horn. So yeah, so J Kick is the gap closer which can trigger them to jump into the next phase if the damage is high enough. So next is Titan. So Titan, Ifrit Leviathan may jump as well as Mugamog. So that's why it's best not to use it. Leviathan sometimes survived at level 70, but level 80, he has no chance. So that took 7 seconds. His teleport is closer to the reward because his arena shrinks. So we get music and his earrings. Next is Garuda. So doing this before Going in makes it a little bit faster than waiting to go in, then do it. You're only casting one instead of two. But she has, I think, the longest walk of them all to get to the treasure. Because her arena is the biggest. And she gave me the ring. And now we go into Ultima. And also when you're doing final sting, you are going to be depleting your gear. So keep that in mind. Boom, five seconds for Ultima. He doesn't give you a mount either, but his loot does add to the table. And he'll give you a band, or I think also a necklace as well. And for the sake of it, we're going to add in Odin as well. I advise using Moon Flute last before you queue in, just in case. And Odin down without crit or direct hitting. Again, he has no mount, just music and a piece of glamour. So adding that in as well is optional. Now, after that is all done, and of course if you have a free company, go to the Quartermaster OIC, actions, and grab yourself a seal sweetener too. I already have one and it's already up. So now we pass in this gear. So I dropped myself to zero seals. So 
that was Shiva. This is Ramu. King Mughalmog. Leviathan. How's E? Freet, Titan, and Garuda will give you the same. Omega, or Ultima, 506, and Odin gives you 317. Now, next you want to do is have a Gladiator, level 1, or a Paladin, and you're going to open up the coffers. Levin, a Sword and Shield, Leviathan, and Shiva. That's two weapons for each of those that drop coffers. And then you pass those in as well. So with the seal sweetener and also adding an Odin, we got 10,418 Grand Company seals. And it took me about a couple seconds of each one by adding in the queue times and all that. It should take you, I would say about five-ish minutes. Now, is it faster or better than Alexander runs? No, it's better to do Alexander, but for the extreme problems on Rumble Born, like I said, you have the mounts that you can go for. So, you have the Nightmare, which is not needed for the ultimate mount. That comes from Garuda, Titan, or Ifrit. You have the Ifrit mount, Garudas, Titans, Leviathan, Ramu, and Shiva. And if you get all of them, you get the Kirin, which you get from the Wandering Minstrel right before you go into the Rising Stones. Now, for the personal drops, we have Crag's Heart, Large Eleven Orb, Diamond Tear, Vortex Feather, Infernal Horn, Barb of the Whirl, and Kingly Whisker. Now, Shiva and Leviathan uh, Glamour Weapons will come from upgrading the base with the Mirror, and the Diamond Dust and Mordona next to the Poetic NPC. Now the Crag's Heart can make Titan weapons and housing items, mostly the lamp for the outside. Each of the primal weapons will have a glow to them. A Titan's is basically a rock, so it's going to look like a rough design. So everybody will have their own little glow. And if you know this one, this one is from Magni and from Stormblood, who uses it himself. So this is going from Alchemist. Now I'll show you guys which books to get those for too. Ramu. is look kind of like this. Electrical effect. Pretty neat. His housing item is the Lord of Levin Lamp. If you make Paladin weapons, they'll come with a sword and a shield. So two for the price of one. His Barding comes from his Lesser Orb from the Lesser Hard Mode version. Shiva's weapon, like I said, comes from the Diamond Dust. But her tier does the Chandelier and the Barding. Garuda. Her Glamour looks like this. Not as good as... Bismarck's, but it's pretty mid in my opinion. And her housing item is the Vortex Couch. Next is the Inferno Horn from Ifrit. It has a pretty weak fire effect to it. His is a wall lamp for your house. There's two versions, a weak one and then of course a fiery version. The fiery version is from his Inferno Horn. Next is Leviathan's Barb. Unfortunately, all the Hig does is give you the fountain for your front of your house. His Barding comes from his Lesser Barb from the Hard Mode. And Good King Mughal Mog's Whisker will give you the Mughal weapons. There's no shield, unfortunately. And I did make a Glamour video about showing off all these as well. His housing item is going to be the Regal Letter Box. And of course, the lesser version is from normal mode, which I think the difference between them is that this one will have a kind of a, a effect when there's mail. I think the other one doesn't. But yeah, that's all of their personal drops. Now, in order to make these, everybody outside of Ramu, you'll need the other Master Recipe book, which is basically passing in one field and battlecraft and material. 
in Mordona, which I'll show you guys there. But Ramu requires Master of Recipe book number two. Now, when it comes to doing the Paladin ones, they will come high quality automatically, which doesn't really matter. Now, the other thing is when you are desynthesizing their weapons and accessories, you can get the ingredients that are used in making their weapons. But these are also used in your free company workshops for airships and submarines. So the weapons obviously will drop either wolf frame or dark steel. Carpenter will most likely drop ancient lumber and the accessories will drop either gold or platinum ingots. Or if you're lucky enough, battlecraft and memory 3s, which are needed for the primal weapons themselves. And of course you need your clusters to get those as well. So I'll head over to Mordona and I'll show you guys where to get those master recipe books. So we're in Mordona, right across from the Summoner Bell, talk to Talon. He must be at least one level 50 crafter with a level 50 tool or above for him to talk to him. Master crafting tomes. So this one here is where you'll get the primals. You need one battle and one field. So eight all together to get all these. You need Master Recipe Book number one to make the stuff to get number two. All right. To find number one, it's going to be under 50 category. And it should be one star or two stars, somewhere in there. Yeah, two stars. You need to make one of these high quality to pass in for book number one. When you get book number one, you then are going to have to make these, then to make this in order to get book number two, which can be really easily done if you want to do Ramu and those are going to be high quality make sure to remember that part one can be bought off the market board over here the servant of splendors the primal gear if you want to do leviathan and shiva shiva requires five outside of paladin but paladin requires two for the shield three for the sword and leviathan requires one mirror the mirrors do not drop 100% of the time, but Diamond Dust does. So Leviathan's special effect looks like this. Try to find something else that's not uh, sideways. Alright, if you're into that. And then Shiva's. will have crystals of ice coming off of it. If you're kind of into that, that thing. Alright, but that is where you guys upgrade that now what to do with your personal items if you're not doing crafting with them well we're gonna head over to Adelshire for that and I'll show you guys what to do with that if you're doing the animal weapons so here we are in Adelshire there's the summoner bell and the crystal so when you're doing the animal weapon you'll get to the part where you have to do crystal sands so you grab a note off the desk in the key items go down to primal pieces number one need the horn, the heart, and the tear. And then the other is the vortex feather, the whirl, and of course the orb. So you get two sands per item. Now, if you're trying to make money off of them, you can sell them on the market board. So my retainer number one, I have a couple sell sales. So the crack's heart went up to 80,000 because somebody bought off the lesser ones. Large living orb also. This is where they kind of jumped. And of course the barb of the world. Now when someone buys the lesser ones. A lot of people are just going to put them right back down. Instead of leaving them where they are. So in this case these like I said went back down. After somebody bought them out. But if you guys want to sell them. Instead of making glamour weapons. Or using bardings and stuff like that. You can sell the pieces outright. There are minions as well that you can use like Garuda, Garuda, Titan, Ifrit, Ramu, Shiva, Leviathan, they all have minions you can sell as well. But because of the lockboxes from the Grand Company kind of ruin the prices. But if you want to get minions as well, you can. So what you guys do with those pieces is up to you, but make sure to pass in the gear for Grand Company Seals if you're going for those. Desynthesize them to get materials. Or basically just sell them all together. Do what you want to do with them, but this is what you do with your newfound power with Blue Mage. 
And that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and help with the YouTube algorithm. If you want to support the channel even further, consider becoming a YouTube member or a Patreon supporter. The link for that would be in the description down below, as well as the link to my Discord channel. I also want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and YouTube members. So until next time, make sure you're walking in the glorious light of the world Bahamut, and always remember to keep forging ahead. Take care.